in our last video, we managed to get our shimmer shader appearing in our game, but it's appearing incorrectly. So now in this video, we're going to fix the error with the way the shader is appearing. First, let's go into our player HX file and let's get rid of this trace because we don't need it anymore. And let's move this line here away from our player into our play state. Now, the reason we're doing that is because we need some functionality from this file because we're going to create a new camera in here and the player will then be put on the new camera. So we're taking all that logic away from this player HX file and moving it into our PlayState HX file. Now, before I continue, please make sure you're using the PlayState from part two and not part one because you'll have some issues if you are. Let's also remove all of this from here as well into our PlayState. We'll put it in our create method about here. And of course, let's finally grab this because we no longer need it in the player HX, but we need it here. Let's also create another variable. We'll call it camera two, and it will be of type FLX camera. That should automatically import itself. If it doesn't, you can type the code in. So it'll be flixel.flx camera. And now with that done, let's go ahead and create our camera two. So we're gonna have our camera two here and we're gonna make a new FLX camera. And we're gonna put the following values in there. 0, 0, 96, and 128. And this is gonna be the position of our camera and the width and height. And as you can see, it's currently the same as the sprite width and height. 96 width, 128 height. So that'll be our new camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get it to follow the player. So camera two, we'll say follow, Player. So wherever the player goes, the camera will go as well. We are then going to give it a filter, which is our shader. And we'll do set filters. And here we're going to say it accepts, as you can see, an array of bitmap filter. So we'll put in an array and we will say new shader filter. And that will take in our shimmer. Hopefully this shader filter will be imported at the top here as OpenFL filters. If it doesn't, go ahead and write this in there manually. Okay, we have our camera, it follows our player and it has our shader added to it. Let's give it a background because that is needed for this to work. So camera two, and because we don't want to have a background color, we'll set our BG color to be FLX color of nothing, which is essentially transparent. Finally, let's add this new camera to our scene. To do that, let's write lines FLX G for global cameras. And we're gonna say cameras with an S. We're gonna say add camera two. So let's save all the files, including the player file. Let's wait for the game to build. I guess I don't actually, I, don't, I guess I don't need this line anymore, so I can get rid of this. There's no benefit to having it. So once you've saved it and the game has built, let's go to the browser, refresh the page. And as you can see, we have our player here and our camera here. So the shimmer shader is working perfectly here on our camera, but it's not working on our player. But we have two players. We've got one with our current default Flixel camera and one with our camera two we've added. So we need to fix that, but you also need to fix the fact that the player, or sorry, the camera needs to change position based on the player coordinates. And that's quite an easy thing to fix. So let's do that now. So to fix the issue with the camera not following the player, that's quite easy to do. We're going to go ahead and inside this update, we're gonna say camera set position and we want the position to be the same as the player's X and Y coordinates. So we'll say player.x for the float and player.y, sorry, player.x for the X position, player.y for the Y position. So that should fix this. And the reason the player position wasn't updating originally because this wasn't here and we set the position 
over here to be zero, zero, which is the top left hand corner. So now if we save this and refresh our game, you notice now that there is an overlap and the both players exist inside the game. Let's fix the other issue of having two players in the game. And that's also quite a simple fix. We need to now set the player. So I'll put that here. The player will have a camera or cameras of just camera two. So with this line there and the game building and refreshing our game, we'll see there's only one player in the game with the shader applied correctly no matter what frame the player is on. Now, you'll notice that the player is hovering somewhat above the ground. And I think this is because the second camera, so the new camera we've added here, has some kind of offset. Either that or the position is incorrect. So to fix that, we can tweak this a bit to make it 192. And this I kind of figured out by trial and error. I don't just know this off the top of my head. And once this has been applied, I think it makes up for the gap that's there, the offset that the camera has. Then once that has been applied, the player will hit the ground as expected. And there we have our shimmer shader working as expected perfectly on our player. One thing you would have also have noticed or if your eagle eyed might have noticed is that if we go ahead and open our old shimmer shader or the first one we created and view that in the GLSL canvas, you'll see that it's kind of slanted from, I'd say here to here, so diagonally this way, but in the game, it's a bit of a different direction. I'm not sure why that happened. That's probably the way we've rotated it inside here, the shimmer shader with pi or probably the coordinates of the player itself or the camera, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. As long as the shader is working perfectly, that's all that counts. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And as usual, please like and subscribe for more videos like this.